Lord, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, hello, how are you? Anyway, guys, y'all, I did a thing. As you can see in the title, you already know where I'm going with this. But usually, I never, and I mean never, buy clothes online. But I did this time. The reason being is I'm a little extra, is what I like to call it, you know, a little extra human on me. Not an extra human, that would be weird. I'm just a little extra. I'm busty, I have broad shoulders, and I'm a little bit fluffy in the arm area. Yeah. So I actually like to physically try on the clothes so I can size up or down according to how it looks on me. Sometimes it fits everywhere, but I can't get it buttoned. And then you have that little opening, you know what I'm saying, around the bust area that's peeking through. Or it fits everywhere, but it's tight on my arms. So I actually like to be in the store and try on the clothes. Yeah, it's a hassle sometimes because I would love to order online regularly, but I just don't because that's just me. So there's this company and I've heard about it before. I don't buy clothes online, I just don't. Well, being that we are safe at home right now, as I always like to call it, I'm looking in my closet because I'm doing projects around my house, multiple projects. And I'm looking in my closet and I'm like, girl, you need some new clothes. Some of these clothes, oh God, I'm so embarrassed to admit this. My oldest daughter is 23. Some of the clothes I have in there, I've had since before she was born. And my youngest, she's 18, she is like, oh mom, when you get rid of your clothes, give them to me, they're vintage. Yeah. So I know I can easily shop at Avenue or Torrid online. Those are plus size clothing stores. I do have a few things coming from Torrid, which I will show you guys once those come in but that'll just be in a separate vlog because it's not a lot. Um, those stores are a little bit more pricey. Sometimes you can catch things on sale and when those come in, I will show you guys. So anyway, this company is called Shein, or is it Shein? I've even heard it pronounced Shine, so I'm not sure. If you know the correct pronunciation, please let me know in the comments. But anyway, I'm just gonna call it Shein. So right now, today, <laughs> my clothing size ranges from a 16 to an 18. And if you wonder why the big jump, it's like I said, my body size, I'm just proportion different. Depending on the fabric or how it's made, I'll size up or down, depending on how it looks on me. Oh, I used to be a size 20, 22. And not that I'm knocking no one who's there, but your girl's come a long way. So yeah, slowly, but yeah. Right now I'm, at, I'm stagnant and I even think I gained a little bit because of the quarantine. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not where I used to be. Anyway, with sheen sizing, you want to make sure you measure your body, like your shoulder, your bust, your waist, your hips. You want to just make sure you measure your body and write those measurements down. So for each item, they have a size chart that you can check in centimeters or inches, depending on your country's measuring system. What I found with this company is you should check the size chart for each and every item. Because one shirt I got in 2X fit me just fine. And then the next item, when I'm looking at their size chart, I got a 1X. Really weird, but hey, that's the way they do it. So the quality of the clothing, I would say is a mix between Forever 21 and H&M. It's not the fanciest of clothes. It's not Macy's or Nordstrom's quality or some good quality clothing line. It's not like that. I will put that out there. And for each item, you can look at a review of what you're going to buy. And it's regular people like us that most of the time they will put a picture in there so you can actually see it on a person, not just on the model, because on the model, in what I'm looking at, it's the plus size model, and it looks gorgeous and beautiful, but then there's been a few times where I looked at the reviews and I'm like, this material looks cheap and flimsy, and it doesn't look good on you know, multiple people that, oh, you wanna make sure you look at the reviews for each and every item as well. So in addition to plus size clothing, this company has clothing for women, of course, and children, they have swimwear, they have sleepwear, they have items that you could purchase for your home. I looked at a few of them, but I wasn't really interested in buying, you know, 
stuff from my house from them. Anyway, that's enough talking, so let's get to trying on the clothes. So before we actually get started, this is how the clothing comes in bags like this, individually wrapped. So each item that you order is going to be in an individual bag. And I even got four pairs of shoes that I will show you guys. So yeah, let's get this haul going. Okay, the first outfit you guys is just a plain black top. I'm sure you can dress it up if you want to. And it comes with this little crisscross thing right here. Knowing me, cause I'm very modest, I will wear a tank top under here just so more of this can be covered. And this is just a, I know you can't see it, but it's just a jean skirt. It goes to like my mid calf. So yeah, and the sizing is pretty good, I believe. So, and it has pockets. Yeah, and it's kind of stretchy. So, yeah. It's a plain black shirt and jean skirt. This shirt, you guys, and I just kept the same jean skirt on, but ignore the wrinkles. I actually could have sized down on this because even though I took my measurements perfectly, I still feel that it's big. And I did went ahead and put a tank top underneath because this material is like super thin and I didn't want you guys seeing bra because you guys know a girl is very modest. So this is what the shirt looks like in the back. And like I said, not that I'm necessarily going to wear it with this skirt, but it doesn't look bad at all. I wish you guys could see like the full everything so yeah doesn't look that bad i feel like i'm being choked <laughs> at the neck here because it's like really up against my neck and it has a little i guess you call it a keyhole so and ignore my hair you guys it's a mess but you're not here for my hair you're here for the haul so okay this same jean skirt simple t-shirt I love it. Once again, ignore the hair. You guys are not here for the hair. I have to put it up. A girl is hot, sweat like a center in church with these lights. Anyway, I absolutely love this shirt. And if you guys know anything about me, I overthink everything. You can tell me, hi, how you doing? And I'm like, why'd you say it that way? This shirt absolutely catches my personality. So that's why I got it. So yeah, and the majority of everything that I got you guys, Nothing costs more than $20 like for one item. A lot of the items like this right here, I think was $11. So they're not very expensive. The only thing I wish this had was a V-neck. I like V-neck t-shirts. So yeah. Okay, so I actually lowered the camera so I can show you guys this shirt. It's the same, the skirt is the same shirt that I had on. But this skirt right here, black skirt, and it has like a little mermaid flare to it. And this I actually could have sized down. So what I'm noticing with a lot of things is even though I measured it to my proportion, this actually ran pretty big. So good thing I know how to sew because I know I can just sew down the sides to where it'll fit a little bit more. And not that I want it fitting tight, I don't. I just don't want the bagginess of it. So that's the skirt. While I have the camera down low, I'm just gonna show you guys the skirts. And yes, for all of you that don't know, I only wear skirts and dresses, religious reasons. Anyway, so this is a gray skirt and I actually love it. It's stretchy, it feels like I can wear it in the summer and it will be cool. And yeah, I like it. It has a slit in the back. This one goes to my ankles. I know you guys can't really see it. And same shirt. So this is another gray skirt. And this one goes to my ankles. It's really long. And it doesn't have a slit in the back. And it's stretchy just like the other one. The only thing is, oh, is it, and it has a drawstring. The only thing is, I really wish I would have sized down for this. Okay, you guys, I absolutely love this shirt. And I just put the same jean skirt back on. It has the see-through netting or mesh right there. 
on both arms and around the front. And it's see-through here also as well. And I do have a tank top on, but you know what, you guys? When I wear it, I'm still gonna wear something that covers more because I'm just, I don't like my flesh showing, that's just me. So yeah, I like this. And it it's really stretchy, I like this. See, stretchy. And I actually could have went down a size in this also. So see what I'm saying about shirts that may fit me in the arms and it's big right here. So if I would have went down a size, it probably would have been too tight in the arms and just fine in this area. So yeah. This is another skirt that I got and this skirt actually is too big for me i'm gonna take it in but it's like the ripped jeans and well jean skirt and i want you guys to see this let me take the camera down that way you guys can see it a little bit more see how it it's ripped which i really do like and it's kind of like uneven which is super cute and then the back has pockets and the pockets are ripped as well. So like I said, instead of taking the hassle of sending everything back and trying to get a refund, I am just going to sew this myself to make it fit more. And I got this in a 2X. I could have actually gotten a 1X because it's elastic in the back and I think 1X would have been just fine. This shirt right here, I'm actually glad I got it in 3X because as you can see, it's snug on my fluffy arms. So if I would have went down in size, it would have been way too tight, but it's huge right here. Once again, I can fix that, so I'm not too concerned about that, but I can always fold the sleeves and wear it up like this or down, but shirt right here. And this is something that you can dress up or dress down, I think. So, and it just, and it comes with a belt as well. What do you guys think? Got this dress for church and it has an opening right here, like see-through. And yes, when I wear it out for church, I am going to have at least something that covers at least right here on it. And it has button sleeves. I just don't have them buttoned. And a little keyhole right there, but I do have a tank top on. It comes with a belt, and you don't necessarily have to wear it with the belt, but I think I will wear it with the belt because, or maybe I'll just take it in, because I think it's like a little bit, I don't know, too big in the waist. I mean, I don't want it tight. I don't have a flat stomach or anything like that, but I put the belt on just to show you guys that you can wear it with a belt. What do you think, with or without the belt? I'll probably end up wearing it without, but just tell me, what do you guys think? Okay, you guys, this I absolutely love. This is supposed to be just a dress by itself, but it's too short and you guys know. So I just put my own skirt underneath and of course a tank top. So this is another outfit I can wear to church or I can wear it out. The material is really thin as well. And I'm happy with the sizing because it doesn't fit too tight in here. The arms are not snug, it's loose. And I just like the way it fits. This right here, you guys, it's supposed to be a dress as well. So I have my black skirt underneath it because once again, it's too short. I absolutely love this. I am really not a fan of blue, but I really like this. And it comes with a belt and you don't necessarily have to wear it with a belt. I don't think I will. See how huge the sleeves are? Yeah, I have a lot of church clothes with bell sleeves, but these are a little bit too big <laughs> and 
I don't think if I rolled it up, I don't think it'll look that great. I don't know. Anyway, so I absolutely love this. And if you like anything that I have on it, you want the links to it, please let me know and I will be happy to send that to you. I think when we are able to go back to church, this is gonna be one of the outfits that I wear. Some cute heels, of course. Okay, you guys, this is my favorite of all. The sleeves are a little bit too short for my liking, but I can always wear something underneath that. But this dress is thin. The skirt on underneath it. It's flowy and has like ruffles on it, and it comes up like this in the front. And I'm actually gonna show you guys, but this would be a perfect outfit to wear on a cruise. So I know that's a very bad angle, but yeah, and it's like high-low. So I had to show you guys the shoes as well. These are just everyday shoes that I got from them. And the comments said the size runs small, so I normally wear a nine, but I got a 10, and it fits like a nine would. These are really comfortable. They're squishy on the inside, so, and they don't hurt the back of my heel. So, I'm pretty sure I can wear these all day. And normally in American sizes, I, like I said, I do wear a size nine, but I normally get a 10 because I have fat feet, I have flat feet, no arch at all. So, 10s are just more comfortable. And plus, come on you guys, I'm extra. You gotta hold all this up, so I get a larger size. So that's one pair of shoes. I know they look similar to the ones I just had on, but they're platform and solid tan color, and the other ones were striped. So, these, I think I actually could have went like size 11 because these are fitting kind of snug on me. My toe is like right up to the top. So even though I got tens in these, um, I could have went up. Nothing I could do about it. I just know that I will not be able to wear these all day long. I think they're cute though. I think these are supposed to be espadrilles, I think. Not the original ones, of course. You guys, I love these sandals. I think they complement my skin very well. And yeah, I cannot wait to wear these. You know what, I probably should have put some lotion on before I put these sandals on, but it's okay. Yeah, I really like this. And I bought these because the model that I seen in the green dress that I tried on, she had a pair of yellow sandals on with the green dress and it looked really nice. So I decided to copy the complete outfit. I really like these, you guys. I don't know if you can tell, but it has like a pinkish color to it. And these are comfortable. Once again, size 10. And these fit like a US size nine. super cute so guys there you have it there is my first shine clothing haul that's my first clothing haul period let me know if you ordered from sheen before and tell me what do you think okay guys thank you so so much for watching please consider subscribing if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video bye